10.5 và 8.0 cùng giải đế thi thật tháng 8 chủ đề Books. Hãy cùng xem hết video để ôn tập cùng chúng mình nha. Part 2. Describe a book that you read more than once. As a student, obviously the most common types of publications to me are school textbooks. But I do enjoy reading literature works as a hobby, and among them, The Diary of a Cricket, whose excerpt I learned in class prompted me to read the story in full. The novel, written by Tohai, tells the story about the adventures of a cricket named Zeman throughout through the colorful world of small animals throughout ch divided into three parts throughout ch 10 chapters i am able to witness the growth of the protagonist from a reckless arrogant cricket to a real hero who united species all species of insects and that character development is very similar to the most beloved superhero films which justifies the reason why i am I and generations of readers, especially children, still get hooked in the traveling journals of this tiny creature. I still retain the habit of revisiting this book once a year and firmly believe that not only do their men's journeys remain appealing to readers, but they also hold significant moral values about respecting others and personal growth that young children nowadays should always bear in mind. Um, I will not consider myself a bookworm, but I do some reading once in a while. And a book that really left a long-lasting impression on me is Pride and Prejudice, written by James Austin. She is an uh, English author and uh, well-known in Europe. Well, Really, so she's really excellent because her book is um, a blockbuster, which is uh, really captivating. And um, uh, for your information, it, it first edition, you know, sold out in the the, the, the first year, and um, it never went out of print. So uh, I think it's really amazing. And um, but the the most important thing is the plot. It was uh, thrilling and really grabbed me from the get go. You know. Uh, it captures a story of the, the love story between a poor country girl, Elizabeth, and um, a rich landowner named Mr. Darcy. And um, they have a lot of dis uh, misunderstandings uh, between them, but luckily, in the end, they managed to resolve all the problems, and he finally proposed to her. It's a, um, a happy ending, uh, luckily. It's a happy and you know, it provides a lot of food for thought, and I can see myself a little bit in the character of Elizabeth, who is not only stubborn, but a little bit stubborn, but um, she's a really strong woman, um, and she has a really strong opinion on, on people and things. That's um, um, an amazing story. It um, captures a long journey of a love of two amazing people, and... Um, you know, it really was worth the uh, bestseller of the year. Is it good to read books and do you often read book? Anyway, so um, I often hear a common saying that every knowledge of humanity is stored in books in libraries around the world. And due to that, I think reading um, essentially is the easiest and most accessible way for, hum for common people to acquire knowledge and to sharpen their understanding of the world and that's the first reason so for the other one uh, yeah as illustrated in our samples for the part two um, reading artistic works such as novels um, short stories poems allow us to be acquainted with a leisurely and yeah, more idealistic and um, assumption of the world to our liking.